Now we got six people in our Simon studio. Simon Pegg and Good Nick morning. Frost. Hello. Oh, God. Look at you guys. How are you? Good. Very well. I got to put these on. Very well. Yeah. <laughs> Look at you. don't want to be here. Relax, man. The it's it's all right. <laughs> we've just been listening to the tirade that's going on in this place. We, yeah. We've had a little episode on, on uh, radio yeah, here we heard, in we the heard. U.S. And you know how us Americans are very oversensitive about things. It's a, it's a, Why can't we just take whatever crap is being said and just forget about it? <laughs> well, you guys have the racial tension in, in England, right? With uh, isn't it more with uh, uh, with with like Muslims? That's kind of like the black white tension here. I think there's racial tension everywhere. You know, we just got to be, you know, think carefully about what we say. Yeah, and yeah. It's not. I mean, I think if you go. If you launch into some racial tirade and then say, I'm only kidding, <laughs> it doesn't make it okay. Right. But I mean, you, you heard what Imus said one little off-color thing. And Do you know what? I don't even know who yeah. Imus is. So. Oh, he's a big, he's a big uh, radio morning guy here. Right. And he just made like a tasteless joke about black people, which is a sin in this country, you know, because we're paying for 400 years of naughtiness. <laughs> naughtiness. Of naughtiness. Well, I think, you know, but we all kind of are. We shouldn't, you know, we should kind of accept that, I think. Yeah, but but we can. <laughs> I mean, I know it's not your fault personally. Yeah, but you can understand no why people get sick of it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, he has a no. I, I mean, think there's that kind of white angry guilt where hey, you. It's not our fault. But I mean, you know. Yeah. Suck it up. Do you know what I mean? But then there's the other side too, where you kind of sit there and go, "All right, you know, you guys are joking about it. Why can't we?" Yeah. yeah, but was he joking about it? Was oh, he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Laughing yeah it's very was, obvious, it, was it comedy? Bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He was trying to Who laughed? I think it I, I think it kind of, you know, it didn't go over well. It wasn't a hysterical gut buster joke. It was a throwaway line, and then people in yeah. studio laughed. Yeah. I think we're just pissed off because kind of black people are, are kind of. I think they're, they're allowed to be a little bit annoyed. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind being. I, I love Dave Chappelle. Yeah. And I love when he kind of like. Hacks on us a little bit, and I think, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, that's hysterical. It's not, it's not racism. It's just kind of like, it's no, kind of comedy pissed offness. Yeah, no one goes crazy, though. No one goes, oh, like, oh my God, Dave Chappelle's making fun of white people. pissed off at black people, is he? But he's not pissed off no. at black people. It wasn't based out of anger. It's, it's, it was just a funny line. It was, all, it was just a line meant to be funny. The intent was not to be, they didn't catch him off air dropping N-bombs. He just said something on air. He was kind of like tagging a line that somebody else had used. It was like a natural flow of conversation. Do you think he does drop N-bombs off air? I hope so. I see. Off air? Constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly. How can you not? <laughs> this is the comedy again. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yeah, you it's fine. I'm only kidding. Well, these guys aren't here to talk about racism no, no, no. and uh, the state of the world today. <laughs> yeah, we're we here to talk about our film, Hot Fuzz. Hot I know. Fuzz. Yes. I saw it. Did you? Yes. You saw, saw Hot little, Fuzz already? I saw a little advanced screening. Nice. I, I like did. Your, uh, uh, I, initiative. I thought it was hysterical. Totally different from uh, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Your character, very different. You play like one of these real kind of uh, super cop, super cop, cop guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, you know, you're kind of a uh, fun-loving, kind of innocent guy in Shaun of the Dead. I figured I had to play somebody a bit different in this. Do you know what I mean? Because I played a couple of slackers, and I thought, right, let's play a super cop. Bad yeah, a badass. Yeah, yeah, badass. And I gotta say, the uh, I won't give away, of course, the uh, end of the movie, but there is a, a gun sequence in there that I was not <laughs> expecting. I was like, "Wow, these guys like spent some money on this movie." But <laughs> well, we're kind of we're massive fans of like American action films and you know the kind of cop genre. And we thought, wouldn't it be funny if we took that and we stuck it into a little English village? Yeah, and had things blow up there instead of the streets of L.A. or New York. Yeah, because usually they're huge cities and the yeah. cops running around and uh, things are blowing up and car chases and gunfights. And, and it's just a small, quaint little English village. Yeah, we don't have any uh, co like a tradition of cop films in the U.K. because our cops aren't armed, right? They just yeah, they have sticks. It's now, kind of it, silly. You guys must. You guys laugh at that, but it takes a lot of balls to walk into a bad neighborhood with a stick. Yeah, right, <laughs> and not with a gun on your hip. But it means that filmically, it's not so good for kind of like you know action and adventure. Yeah, hitting each other with sticks. It, it, does, it, it really doesn't give the same. You can't have a slow motion. No! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the guy gets hit with a little stick. You know, it kind of takes away exactly. from the climax Ow, of the whole my thing. Shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> so, the. Uh, uh, Shaun of the Dead, of course. Uh, you, you, you had done movies before that? Uh, no, we done it. We had a sitcom on British television. Yeah, Space. that was it. I'd done a couple of movies, but not like the scale of Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, it? that could, that one really hit a nerve. I mean, total cult following here in the States. That's and great, yeah. People watch it like ten times. It's one of those movies you just watch over and over again and still laugh your ass off. Uh a fan of, of the zombie genre, obviously. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I mean, there were so many little uh, homages to uh, to all the uh, old zombie movies. Where did that come from? We're just, I mean, we're a huge zombie fan. I remember I made Nick up here. 
Say hi. Hey. Nick hey. Frost. Hello. I, as a zombie in 1994 for Halloween, and ten years later we were here promoting yeah, we were. our big zombie film, which was quite a nice little circular journey, wasn't it? Yeah, I still got the makeup on. He's <laughs> <laughs> you got stand-ups too? Uh, do you start as stand-ups? I was a stand-up, yeah. I, I was a stand-up for about uh, ten years, and then got back into I, I got act, into acting through that, got the sitcom, you know. And I, I still love doing stand-up, but it's just... It, it, you can't do both, do you know what I mean? Because your whole weekend's take. You work Thursday to Sunday, yeah. and you got to spend. Basically, when you're a stand-up, you spend all weekend in a pub and not drink. Yeah. Unless I mean, unless you're a drinking stand-up, but I find it would, it would dull my edge if I drunk. Do you it's, know what I mean? Two types of stand-ups: guys that have no alcohol at all, or yeah. the guys that you're peeling off the floor every night at three o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Yeah. But I think the guys that drink stand-ups that drink think they're funnier than they are. Do oh, you yeah. know what I mean? You yeah. know when you get a bit drunk and you think, ah, oh, I said something really funny last night, and you read what you wrote, scroll down, and you think, no, that's rubbish. <laughs> that wasn't and it's the same good. as you know. I think it's always better to stay a little sharp. Also, you've got to be on the ball to you know with the audience because if they're if they're coming back at you, you need to be sharp. So you can't. Just go ah yeah, <laughs> leave it at that. Because they're the worst. The worst hecklers are drunk people. Yeah, hey, get off you idiot! And you come back with some line. No, I didn't hear you. You know, it's kind of like <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not going to work. You know, yeah. it's even worse with the audience when somebody heckles you and you destroy them, but the audience didn't quite hear what they said, and the audience yeah, yeah. sides with them. You yeah. just, just blow towards the entire room. Absolutely. Oh, how'd you get? How'd you get the uh, like idea for for Shaun of the Dead and like get the cat? Like, because it's one of those things where oh, I want to make a movie. And then, well, we were doing our show Spaced, and, and we had, there was a little scene in it when I was kind of lost on uh, in a video game. My character went up all night on speed and kind of was playing Resident Evil and w sort of got sucked into the game. And we had such fun shooting the zombie bit. Me and Edgar Wright, who's the director and co-writer, said, let's make a film. Let's see if we can make a film. So we took the idea around. Eventually, it got picked up by working title and Universal, and we got it made. And it was, it was luck. It was, you know, a lot of luck involved, but we, we got there. And the writing of it, now, you wrote it uh, right. with, uh, with Edgar. Because Edgar. Yeah. Uh, I noticed it wasn't like just a traditional little comedy on zombie thing. It was actually like, you know, your character is very sensitive, and there were some, like, touching moments that were, like, yeah, yeah. sad it's well, like think, to decide to bring that into a comedy zombie movie. I thought was a little uh, odd, but it, de it definitely worked. Yeah, I, you know what? You know when you have those films that are like that are just I don't know this sort of spoof movies like epic movie or whatever. They 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 really do exist joke to joke, right? So mm -hmm. if if one joke fails, the whole thing fails. Whereas if you have, I think if you have like some some story underneath and some characters and something to invest yourself in, you can you know you can go off joke a little while and actually get things a little bit emotional and then. So when I have to shoot my mum, it's pretty sad, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's what it was. It was like he's sitting there going, "Oh my god, the guy's got to shoot his mother. She's a zombie," and you know he's yelling at the other guy not to shoot her and he's crying and everything. Yeah. And, it's, was good, like, it's just good to keep people on their toes, you know. A good naked dynamic. Guns, no mo like the naked guns have no moments like that because it's all just boom, 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 parry, 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 They're the boom, best. Boom. I mean, they're, they're the kind of best examples of those. Like the Zucker brothers, like Airplane, uh -huh. you know, Mel Brooks, Frank, Young Frankenstein, Blazing Saddles. Brilliant because they are all the jokes pretty much hit. Whereas you know, so, because as the, as that sort of that kind of movie gets a bit diluted, it gets you know less and less of a hit rate. Uh huh. So. Uh, so anyway, so with Hot Fuzz, it was we kind of try and do the same thing, make something that could actually exist without, without the, the jokes. jokes. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely, and, and it de you definitely pull it off. Even though there's a, lo but there's loads of jokes in there. Don't yeah, get me wrong, yeah. it's really funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but if you took it out of that, it could just be like a, a genuine no, that, action movie. Mm -hmm. Well, it's like Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. I think is a great comedy with yeah. Steve Martin, who I think sucks now, but back then he was great with John Candy. And there's yeah. some like really like weird, kind of depressing moments. Hey, in that John movie. Candy really tugs the heartstrings in that great. movie. Yeah. Just a big fat sad man. Yeah, you, yeah. you, 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 you can make fun of me. <laughs> Go on, I'm an easy target. target. <laughs> that fat head and all mustache, the greatest. He was fantastic. <laughs> now, uh, what about direction? Did uh, who directed? Um Edgar, Sean, Edgar, 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 Edgar Wright is my sort of co-writer, and we always Nick is is always uh, the kind of the first guy that gets the script, and we write f for Nick in mind for me and Nick to be in it together, and then um, and then we bring everyone else in. So with Shaun of the Dead, we had a kind of you know it was a, it was about it was a group of about six survivors in that, but with Hot Fuzz, there's like fifty speaking parts, and uh, mm. you know Timothy Dalton's in it, and Jim Broadbent, and Edward Woodward, and Billy Whitelaw, and you know these kind of these kind of legends of the British sort of uh, screen industry. Yeah, there's there's just like it's a very unique look 
to the movies, to the direction. Yeah. You know, some of those, uh, you know, the way the camera pushes in, a lot of quick cuts yeah, like yeah. that, uh, it, and it makes it work, definitely. Uh, I go yeah. 6,000 cuts in this film. It's yeah. 6,000 wow. yeah. e Epileptics beware. I <laughs> yeah, you get a Pokemon seizure. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Nick, did you, I'm sorry, Ralph, did you start out like as an actor or as a sketch guy? Or like, what uh, is no, your... I was just a waiter, and he made me do it. <laughs> <laughs> Great as that. He was. I found him working in a restaurant. <laughs> really? I said, I can take you away from all this. What was it about him when you when you saw him? I was just... I just was, look at him. a lot of sexual chemistry. Yeah, I was just... Yeah. <laughs> I was get a, you in movies. <laughs> I was, yeah, exactly. I was a stand-up comic, and he was the funniest guy I knew. And I was hanging out with stand-up comics, and, you know, he, he was just the guy that worked in a restaurant. And it, you, I kind of introduced him to stand-up thinking... I mean, you kind of wanted to do it a little bit, didn't you? You sort of, as a way out of working... Yeah. I didn't really want to be a waiter forever. I didn't really know <clears throat> what to do apart from that. But it was... Uh, I did ten gigs, and five were amazing, where I was hailed as the new Christ, and the other five were the... That was the lowest points of my career. <laughs> <laughs> of your life. Of my life. <laughs> so, uh, so when we came to do our sitcom, I said, look, how, well, do it this way, be in it. And I wrote him a part of a character that he kind of came up with. And, uh, and it took off from there. And, you know, it's like ten years later, and he's... Uh, He's got his own show and everything. How long were you guys on uh, in, in, uh, in England for? How, how long? How long were you on for? Yeah, how many years? Oh, the, the show. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it ran for two seasons, and then we did, and then we did um, uh, Shaun of the Dead, and and then we kind of had to leave it behind in a way. And we get, it's the question we get asked the most: Is it going to do a third season of Space? Because people have found it here. You can't get it Region One DVD here, but people can import it, and they you know have regionless DVDs and stuff. But I think it's going to get released here on DVD. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw it was pretty funny in England. I really enjoyed was uh, Alan Partridge. Yeah, I was in uh, that. Were you in that? Yeah, yeah, I was in an episode of Alan Partridge. I, yeah. I like I like season two better because the first season was just he's just on his, his, his show. That's right. And then season two, what an ass he was. He was just was really a brilliant funny guy. character. Do you, yeah. I don't know if you remember the episode where they drop a cow on him from a bridge. <laughs> Uh, some, no. some farmers are protesting because he said, episode. weirdly enough, he said some controversial things about farming, uh, about, <laughs> about, like, was it genetically modified swans yeah, hens. <laughs> whose necks had been bred to be fit in a baguette? Big eyed boy. Fit in a baguette. <laughs> and, uh, and so these farmers drop a cow on him from a bridge. But I was in that episode. And I was only like 27, and it was one of my first TV shows. And, and it was with Coogan, who's an amazing sort of comedy actor. And he's in, he's in Hot Fuzz. He Is he really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. he's a funny dude. He's very funny. When does Hot Fuzz open? 420. 420. I think you know what we're saying. Ah, ah. 420. Ah. Enjoy the day. <laughs> gotcha. Uh, this is how stupid I am. I am an. A you said 420, and I'm such a nerd. I didn't catch it. I'm like, you looked okay. at your watch. <laughs> yeah. What a point to say April. What a dope. I didn't catch him saying that. And I apologize to, uh, to Nick because I asked for a picture, but I looked at you and I looked at the other guy uh, who you were with that, that fell in the back. So my apologies. <laughs> VJ, oh, VJ the bone. VJ the bone carbone. He's looking after us. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Veej. <laughs> So, uh, so, so yeah, go see because it'll be a great day. It will. Yeah, I, I think. I, you like know I said, been, I saw it. It was really yeah, funny. Uh, What's been weird is that to some marijuana. Head out. <laughs> 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 What's you guys get going? stoned and want, like right? I mean, a lot of people do it. The paint like, of hamburgers. I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't like to say really. Uh, <laughs> it's definitely not enough. <laughs> Man of mystery. <laughs> you know what's weird is that uh, is we've been doing this tour of the U.S. showing the film and stuff and. Uh, the film did great in the UK. I mean, it did amazing. We broke records in the UK. It's kind of like the sixth biggest I mean ever in the UK. Wow. And yet the audiences here seem to get it more than the British audiences. Yeah. Because I think they get what we're what we've adopted more. Do you know what I mean? Because it's like an American sort of format. The whole action, right? Thing. The action thing. It's an American film. Yeah. yeah. And they get they've been getting it so. It's been crazy. It's been great. It's like being in a rock band. Did you have to go through gun training and stuff? Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Not, that we, not, old, not that we needed hey, is to. Is he pulling out it's again? Oh, for right. one. <laughs> <laughs> he's back in, he's back in! And asks that question, he goes in. Pulls out a phone. I just got a little yeah, because you get pretty <laughs> proficient with the uh, with the guns <laughs> in that movie. Yeah, I usually just have a little revolver in my, you know. <laughs> it's not, it's he keeps a, nice a revolver in his sock want, anyway. Yeah, yeah. Don't want to mess up the, the lion or the cut of it. You don't want somebody to rob you for it either. You get a polo jacket in the city. Exactly. Yeah. It's nice to be able to come over here and pack heat. You know, we don't yeah. get that. We don't get that. You don't get that in England. No, they don't let you. Giving them on the plane. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't really sign your, kind of your frown on that. declaration form. You pick them up at immigration, you get given that and your little green thing in your passport. Hey, in, 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 uh, in, in England, I've never worked over there. Is there any, like, here we know with, like, the certain things in comedy, whether it's in films, here's mostly racial stuff that just gonna, it, people panic about. Is there anything with you guys that's more cultural for, for you that is just a no-no in comedy or something that people are really going to give you a problem with? I think it's the same. I think pr pretty much it's just, you know... It's just taking responsibility for what you say. Do you know what I mean? It's like it depends what 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 you're trying to. I think it's always good to make people think, 
I think it's always good to sort of inspire debate as well. I think if, you know, if this fella on the radio, if he was saying that to kind of try and get a big debate going and make something good happen, then great. Do you know what I mean? Comedy is a great way of, uh, of, of sort of rehearsing real ideas, but ultimately, you know, I don't know. Let's agree to disagree on that one. <laughs> hey, it's your line. I like that. I, I love that line. Get you out of anything. Yeah. Like, All right, hey guys. Uh, Four twenty. Four twenty. Big plug. <laughs> Hot fuzz Hot will fuzz. change your life, and I guarantee, if you go with somebody on a date, they will have sex with you afterwards. Absolutely. Yeah, They'll right. be that amped up. You can tell that take to Jimmy. Oh, it's funny, you just stole the joke that I, of course, my yeah. brain didn't think of, but I was going to point at Kenny and say I was going to take him, but you pointed at me because I'm here, which worked. Kenny actually uh, was a cop. Oh, really? And, yeah, and believe me. Um, NYPD? Uh, no, he was Jersey. Jersey. Oh, okay. Yeah, Jersey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've seen cop he land. Got, we he, know got thrown off. he got thrown off. What did you get thrown off for? For uh, getting on stage and telling dirty jokes. <laughs> no shit. Naughty oh, cop. I just cursed. I thought I was <laughs> no, on XM for a second. <laughs> I, I, I dropped that. the S-bomb. Oops. Now you're in trouble. I know. You're now, fired. No. Somebody with a button in the back that just dumps out of that. Because God forbid the children hear that. I know. Oh, They're also that. We heard some CBS guys talking. They're thinking of releasing some gas in here to, to purge your sin. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you guys picked a weird day to come in. I mean, we're big fans, but we're pretty heated about what's going on. Because, oh my God, huge. Because it affects everyone that does uh, this type of radio. The radio. You guys so get we've been all over it all day. Recognized everywhere now? Yeah. 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 A bit. It's weird. Especially together, it must just be insane. Yeah, yeah I think it kind of completes a little sort of yeah. jigsaw. And it's nice, though, you know, everyone, everyone that sort of comes up is always really friendly. And, you know, comedy fans are always sort of good people, I think. They're... Uh, they, they kind of want to laugh, so they're nice folks. Yeah, uh, getting, you guys get like uh, uh, there's the little catchphrases and stuff that Americans love using because all the time now I just whenever the phone's busy I'll be it's engaged, <laughs> engaged because we never use it. It's like it's busy. Oh really? Or something like that, or you know I'll pick up a bit of wood, you know, <laughs> chase you around with a bit of wood. <laughs> Those fun things to good. say if you're American. Queue up, right? Queue up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It's funny, isn't it? We kind of speak the same language, but we don't, in a way. But we don't, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's fun to imitate. Do, do English people just imitate stupid American words and accents? Do you Hell go yeah! Do doing American accents all the time? Because Americans seem to just want to go around and go, oh, where are you going? You know, there's a funny thing with the Brit... You know, so many uh, people here, and often girls will go, oh, I just love your accent. Yeah. It's great. And you're like, what? Because they, they think you sound like a prince or something. <laughs> That's <laughs> what it is. It puts uh, you on this little higher plateau. It doesn't matter. Either. You could be a homeless English guy and just me. be like, we do, oh, lay on, uh, we do lay on quite thick. Yes, we do walk uh, Yeah. Good. Hello, Good. ladies. Good Welcome. Morning. <laughs> Good morning, madam. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Uh, we, have, uh, we are leaving. That's why you hear the music. Yes. Yeah, 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 sure, sure, sure. sure. Uh, the, the, uh, with uh, Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, uh, in theaters Friday, April the 20th, which is a week from Friday. It's called Hot Fuzz. Yeah. Um, so go see it. And Sutter already yeah. loved oh, yeah. it. Oh, yeah. He like Sean the Dead, man. It's going to be another hit for these guys. Love it. Thank you guys for coming in. You Cheers. guys go have a lie down, okay? Thanks, Calm man. down. Yeah. All right. Have All a right. lie down. <laughs> see ya. Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, thank you so much. If you're not joining us over at XM, have a great day. Wow, we Look got famous people in our studio. Simon Pegg and Good Nick Frost. Hello. Oh, God. Look at you guys. You <laughs> How are you? Good, very well. I'm going to put these on. Very well. You don't want to be here. Relax, man. It's all right. We've just been listening to the tirade that's going on in this place. Yeah. We've had a little episode on, on uh, radio yeah, here we heard, in the we U.S. Heard. And you know how us Americans are, very oversensitive about things. It's a, it's a, Why can't we just take whatever crap is being said <laughs> and just forget about it? Well, you guys have the racial tension uh, in England, right? With uh, Isn't it more with... Uh, 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 with with like Muslims, that's kind of like the black white tension here. I think there's racial tension everywhere. You know, we just got to be, you know, think carefully about what we say. Yeah, uh, yeah. It too, where you kind of sit there and go, all right, you know, you guys are joking about it. Why can't we? Yeah, yeah but was he joking about it? Was oh, he? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Exactly. Yeah, was it comedy? Bit. Yes. Yeah. yeah. He was trying. I don't, who laughed? I Hands think up. it. Bo I, I think it kind of. You know, it didn't go over well. It wasn't a hysterical gut buster joke. It was a throwaway line, and then people in yeah. studio laughed. You know. I think we're just pissed off because kind of black people are, are kind of. I think they're they're allowed to be a little bit annoyed. Do you know what I mean? I don't mind being. I, I love Dave Chappelle. Yeah. And I love when he kind of like. Hacks on us a little bit, and I think, oh, well, whatever. Yeah, that's hysterical. It's not, it's not racism. It's just kind of like, 
It's no, kind of comedy pissed offness. Yeah, no one goes crazy though. No one goes, oh, like, oh my god, Dave Chappelle's making fun of white people. Pissed off at black people, is he? But he's not pissed off no. at black people. It wasn't based out of anger. It's it's it was just a funny line. It was all it was just a line meant to be funny. The intent was not to be. They didn't catch him off air dropping n bombs. He just said something on air. He was kind of like tagging a line that somebody else had used. It was like a natural flow of conversation. Do you think he does drop n bombs off air? I hope so. I off air. Constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Constantly. How can you not? <laughs> <laughs> it's the comedy again. <laughs> I'm only kidding. Yeah, yeah, I'm only kidding. Well, these guys aren't here to talk about racism uh, and uh, the state of the world today. <laughs> yeah, we're we here to talk about our film, Hot Fuzz. Hot I know. Fuzz, yes. I saw it. Did you? Yes. You I saw, saw Hot little, Fuzz already? I saw a little advanced screening. Nice. I, I like did. Your, uh, home. Your I, initiative. I thought it was hysterical. Totally different from uh, Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. Your character, very different. You play like one of these real kind of uh, super cop, super cop, cop guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And meanwhile, you know, you're kind of a fun-loving, kind of innocent guy in Shaun of the Dead. I figured I had to play somebody a bit different in this. Do you know what I mean? Because I played a couple of slackers, and I thought, right, let's play a super cop. Bad yeah, badass. Yeah, yeah, badass. And I gotta say, the uh, I won't give away, of course, the uh, end of the movie, but there is a, a gun sequence in there that I was not <laughs> expecting. I was like, wow, these guys like spent some money on this movie or something. Well, we're kind of, we're massive fans of like American action films and, you know, the kind of cop genre. And we thought, it's not, I mean, I think if you go, if you launch into some racial tirade and then say, I'm only kidding, it doesn't make it okay. Right. But I mean, you, you heard what uh, Imus said one little off color thing. And Do you know what? I don't even know who yeah. Imus is. So. Oh, he's a big, he's a big uh, radio morning guy here. Right. And he just made like a tasteless joke about black people, which is a sin in this country, you know, because we're paying for 400 years of naughtiness. <laughs> naughtiness. Of naughtiness. Well, I think, you know, but we all kind of are. We shouldn't, you know, we should kind of accept that, I think. Yeah, but, but we can. <laughs> I mean, but, I know it's not your fault, personally. Yeah. But you can understand why people get sick of it, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he has to know. I, I mean, think there's that kind of white, angry guilt where, hey, you, but it's not our fault. But I mean, you know, yeah. suck it up, do you know what I mean? But then there's the other side.